Last time on Relegation Regen Rebuild. Diaz. Oh, the captain gets forward and finds himself a goal as well. 3-0 Milan. Well, Diaz has crept forward. Wasn't expecting that whatsoever. And he's fucking rocked up in the box and he's just absolutely lucky. Hello and welcome back to Relegation Regen Rebuild FIFA 17 AC Milan. We sit in ninth position, but there's uh, 24 points between us and third. So uh, that loss there against Rosalino pushed us back down the table. We'll have to turn that one around pretty quickly. Now, uh, I've seen the comments of the last couple of episodes. We do have a player upgrade to do, but uh, one thing I did want to cover is the signing of another right back on the free agency. So let's go have a look at him now. Right, so uh, Christian Kelchan. Uh, the Romanian right back. He's a 71 overall, so he's, he's a higher rating than Lombardi at the moment. Lombardi does have the potential to be special, but he's going to take a little while to grow. And this lad has got uh, a lot more pace than what Lombardi does. So uh, he could be a really decent acquisition. Might not play in the first team as much, because I do want to give Lombardi that, uh, that spot that he's earned. But uh, definitely some decent backup, because at the moment I'm playing Dior and Ryu there uh, if Lombardi's tired. And, and it's just not really working out. So... Uh, He's got a low medium work rate. He can play centre back as well, so he could be helping out Cunningham. He can play CDM. So uh, three positions that he can play. Six foot three, four star weak foot, three star skill moves. He's a free agent. You can sign him any time of the season if he's a free agent. So um, I think this would be a pretty decent purchase here for AC Milan, even if we hold on to him for a season or two and uh, flog him off for some cash. So I'm going to put in an offer and uh, see if he will join the club. Right, we've got a player upgrade today, and this is Alanovic, the young uh, centre midfielder. Uh, this one comes from Dre Cup. Thank you very much for your comment. He wanted the Adidas A16.1 dark space boots, some grey tape, uh, black and red bracelets on the wrists, uh, untucked tie kit, and low socks. So uh, Alanovic is ready. He's been getting a few games here and there as a substitute, and he may find his way on the pitch again today. All right, here we go. Game number one, San Siro time. It's Milan hosting Pescara. And Letsari is back from injury. He will start today. The Band-Aid has gone. And uh, he is ready to get out here and leave this club from the front. Now, Mancini is our top goal scorer with five. So letsari has got some work to do to catch up now. We sit in ninth, Pescara in 11th. They're three points behind us. So a win here will see them uh, come up alongside us. But... We need to stay in contention with these top three teams. So a win here for Milan is absolute necessity. Hopefully Lazari with that little layoff there with injury can come back fresh. We've only let in seven goals this season and uh, we're playing a lot more attacking football. So hopefully we can get some goals and uh, the opposition just decides to attack a little bit and we're not always the best defensive team because uh, that's just so unrealistic, isn't it? Because we don't defend that well, but teams just don't want to come forward and score against us. Here's the Milan side. It's Santoro, Lombardi, Diaz, Cunningham, Sandoval, Misseroli, Giao, Banks, Klaus, and Giordano, and Sari up front. And the issue with Santoro is that he wants to leave the club, so uh, we'll get a few more games until Conti's ready to take the reins with the gloves. I uh, just need to get a bit more training into him, uh, but we may look for a new keeper come at the transfer window. Not too sure yet. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on our keeper scenario, and uh, we'll address that in a future episode. Let's get into this one. We're looking for three points, but Zari looking to get back on the goal-scoring tally. It's time for Milan at the San Siro. Well, solid work from Cunningham. Here's Zhao. Zari back to Zhao. Holds up the play, then gets the run here from Banks. And Banks slips through. Does well. Good control. Slips this one forward for Clausen. Clausen finds Giordano. The Italian works his way around. Takes the strike. Good save. Mr. Rolli knocks it in. It's 1-0 Milan. And the new tactics are working. The team is pushing forward. And it was Giordano working it into space. Worked the keeper. And Mr. Rolli there like a seagull on a hot chip. Just swooped it and tapped it home. And it's 1-0 Milan here at the San Siro. Get in, son. Corner now for Pescaro. We'll be looking for our tall timber here just to defend. Diaz gets up. 
He'll come back in. Banks tried to get a touch on it. Here it comes. Santoro with the save. Well, even though he wants to leave the club, he's doing the job here. Just to try and get himself a better paycheck wherever he wants to move on to. We could loan him out. We could try and sell him off to Tom Tomsk. I'm not too sure. Get in the comments where Santoro headed in the January window. Sandoval's crept forward. Jow. Latsari turns his man. Latsari. Oh, brilliant finish. Welcome back to the team, Sunshine. It's 2-0, and Ferrari Lazzari with his red boxing gloves just slipped through and smacks it home. That's a glass finish from the Lazzari. Just misses the defender's legs, misses the goalkeeper perfectly, just dips it into the bottom left biscuit, and it is 2-0 Milan. Get in there, son. Get in there, son. It's a rolly. Lawson, oh, pumps it forward. Here's Reese Banks. Can he finish? Banks. Oh, it's three. It's a fucking whitewash here at the San Siro. Pascara don't know what the hell's happened. Reese Banks finally opens his account for the season. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cash money. Postage paid. Fucking check signed. And it is 3-0 Milan. Well, you fuckers asked for goals. There's a finesse shot that you've been asking for as well in the comments. And fuck me. 3-0. Banksy delivers. Oh, interest only. Get in. It's the run from Clausen. Clausen back to Letzari. Oh, he tried from range. Bit too much mustard on that one. And there's the whistle. Half time. What an outstanding start from Milan. It's 3 0. Well, Oli Fries is coming on for Reese Banks in half time. Banks absolutely spent there in the first half. Just ran up and down the wing like there was no tomorrow. So Oli Fries comes in and uh, looks like they've made a change as well. Sorry, great ball through. And here's Fries. Pushes on Fries. Needs some help. Goes back to Lazzari. Lazzari. Can't pick it off. But Jow's there. Oh, Lazzari's down. It's Giordano. Takes the strike. Works Fiorillo. And it is a corner now for Milan. Oliver Fries to deliver this one in. Dips it into the box. Comes back out. Fries chips over the top. There's Mancini. Mancini slips it off. Fries. Oh. Mancini gets into the box. Passes it off. Mr. Rowley. Oh. Couldn't get a clear shot away. Well, there's the whistle. A 3 0 victory. The damage done early. And we Jose Mourinho'd it and just parked the bus and sat back for the second half. And we take a 3-0 victory and three points. Well, nine shots to four, 14 tackles. An outstanding game all across the board. Zhao with a 9.4, man of the match. Had a pretty good game there controlling the midfield. And the Frisch brothers came on. Had a little bit of impact, but uh, Lazzari, Mancini, Banks, Clausen, Giordano all did really good jobs today. All right, game number two of the episode, and it is Ferrara hosting Milan. And, uh, well, some tired players, some international duties, so uh, a few transitions through this team. I like the rotations. I like keeping everyone fresh. Diaz and Cunningham and Santoro will be in the back three pyramid. Uh, Lazzari is up front. We're sitting fifth position. But uh, pretty much everyone else on the park has been replaced. So uh, an interesting game here for Milan. We're just trying to keep these winning ways coming along and three points ticking over. But uh, Antonucci with seven goals so far in the season will be a player that we have to keep an eye on. Let's get into the game. Oh, solid pass there from Fraser to find Sook in an acre of space. Here comes Sookie Boy. Crosses it in. Giordano. Oh, defender. Boynov does well. Laganov slips it off. Here's Lazzari. Pushes on forward. Lazzari. Oh, there he is again. Just decides to slip one past the keeper. Lazzari has come back from injury, fit and firing. Laganov with a good ball through. Sook put on a nice block. And Lazzari just straight along the grubbing ground past the keeper and knocks it in. That is pretty piss poor goalkeeping, if I do say so myself. But who gives a fuck? It's 1-0 Milan. Ferrara with the free kick here on the edge of the box. Voinov chased down the man, but gave away the card. And here we go again. Here's the strike. Oh, Santoro, brilliant save. 
That was fucking ingenious. Here's Letsari. Can he slip through the deck? He can. Off to Laganov. Gets the run here from Sook. Holds up the play nicely, Sook. Still going. Pushing forward. Can he slip a pass through? He can to Laganov! Oh! Brilliant! Fucking brilliant from Milan! And it's fucking Laganov with majestic hair. Boom! Shakalaka laka Get in there! Wow, what fucking build-up play that was from Milan. Absolutely special. And Laganov with an absolute rocket right. Smacks it home. The keeper didn't move. He was like, where the fuck did that come from? Oh, maybe he hit it in his wig. I don't know. But fuck me. 2-0 Milan. We are in some serious momentum form. And it's 2 fucking nil. Come on, son. Work from Diaz. That was a great touch. Laganov forward. Once Letsari. There he is. Passes in his side. Oh, Laganov again! Get in, son! Oh, mate! He's a beautiful man, the Russian. Majestic hair. He'll be getting Pantene commercials sent to him left, right, and center. And fuck me, what a finish from Laganov. Brilliant. Exquisite. Centimeter perfect. Oh, 3 0 whitewash here already from Milan. We are flying out of the blocks. And we are putting it up early. There's no fucking surrender here. Laganov. Oh, isn't he having a game? Corner for Ferrara. 28 minutes gone. It's already three goals. Absolute goal fest here. Lazzari punches on forward. Laganov's already got two. He's got two inside four minutes. He'll be looking for a hat trick here, I reckon. Oh, Santoro, cracking save, but looks like we've given away a free kick on the edge of the box. I didn't see what happened. It must have been behind play. Santoro with a cracking save. He has found some form as well. And now it is a free kick here for Ferrara. I'm going to drop back on the line here with Fraser just to help out. Plays it off, and it's poor. Oh, there they go. Oh, they broke us open there. They finally get a goal. They've been pushing the last 10 minutes. They've got very, very aggressive. And Fraser caught behind the man. And Santoro wasn't stopping that one. So it's 3-1. Goal fest here in the first half. Oh, they've slipped through. Diaz. Oh, Cunningham. Oh, Santoro. Brilliant. Just waiting for the whistle. Good work from Richard. Slips it off. There's the whistle. A fucking massive first half. Laganov on fire. And it's 3-1. There's young Alanovic. Slips it forward. Here's Letsari. Letsari breaks through. Puts it in. 4-1. There was no stopping him there. He was fucking determined. Oh, Milan have turned up. And they've turned a leaf here in this career mode. We are finding goals. I haven't changed any settings other than some tactics. We're still on legendary. Don't even worry about it. I'll show you after this fucking... Finishes showing you what a glorious goal that is from Lazzari. And it is 4-1 on the day. Lazzari with five goals now, even with that five-week layoff and injury. Well, that is an absolute purchase. And we'll press pause just so that no one has a fucking shit about stuff. Oh, he's chain stuff, man. He's fucking chain stuff. He's just he wasn't scoring goals before. Well, look at this. It's all fucking 50s. Don't you even worry about it. I don't fuck with the sliders. There's no bloody point. And, uh... 4-1 it is. Let's resume the match. So we restart again. 4-1. Yes, so... Cuts through the deck. Sets it off. Letsari gets it forward. Laganov! Oh, what a block from the defender. And it's a corner for Milan. Laganov hunting that hat trick. And it's a corner now. Alanovic whips in. It's going to come back out and be another corner for Milan. All right, here's Christopher Fries. The Fries brothers have checked into the game. He finds his brother and he slips through and he takes the strong. Oh, gets out. 5 1 Milan. Fries to Fries to the back of the net. They've been on the ground all the fucking 20 seconds. And Fries finds Fries. And it's Fries all around. And it's 5-1 Milan. This is our best return ever. And, mate, is this a sign of things to come here for Milan? Get in. Brilliance. Absolute brilliance from Milan here today. We've fucking showed up. And we've turned it on.
Well, there it is. A 5-1 victory for Milan. Couldn't get the boys their hat-tricks, but you can't complain about five goals. An absolute decimation of the opposition. We take another three points. Get in. Well, fuck me. The team clicked today. 11 shots, 10 on target. Five of them went in. 16 tackles. And just a brilliant day out. Lazzari gets a 9.3. Laganov a 9.2. Everyone played well today. And just a brilliant performance from Milan. All right, Christian Kelchin has accepted his contract. He won a crucial first-team player to come to the team. So we're going to have to give him some game time. But uh, we'll, so we'll see how he goes. I mean, if we've got him for nine months or whatever, and then we sell him off, it's a decent profit, I reckon. Um, so welcome to the club, Christian Kelchin. All right, here we go. A big, big game this one. Game number three, Milan at the San Siro. Hosting Navarra, who sits second on the table. We are third. So uh, a massive clash here. And uh, we've rested up. We've got the boys ready. Let's say we'll start up front. He's found some form in the last game, coming back from injury. And uh, we found some fucking goals. I can tell you that. This has been an action-packed episode for scoring. So hopefully we can find some more today. Taylor back from international duty will start on the left-hand side after Giordano did play back-to-back -back games a little bit tired. Uh, Banks on the right, Klausen comes back in the cam roll. Um, Lagnock is on the bench even though he was a little bit tired. But uh, an outstanding performance from him in the last game. Uh, Dior comes in at left-back as uh, Richard and Sandoval were both tired. We've got Kelchin on the bench, uh, but Lombardi was at full strength, so I'm going to take him as preference for now. But uh, Kelchin can come in and play centre-back, centre-mid, CDM as well. So uh, we've got options there. And Xiao and Miseroli controlling the midfield today. And Santoro, well, he's in good form. So I don't want to take him out of the sticks, even though he wants to leave the club. The training is going into Conti. If he gets up close enough, I think he's a 71 now. Santoro, 77. So uh, we just need a little bit more training in Conti before I have the confidence in uh, putting him there between the sticks. But... Uh, there's the Navarra side. Not sure if you know any of those players. I definitely don't. Let's get into the game and see if we can take three from three. Yes. Sorry. Turns his man. Oh! Oh no! How did he not get a shot there? Right, it is a corner here for Milan. Banks to deliver in. Has he paced the postage? He's gonna get another crack at it here. Why did he shoot? Oh, steal from Miseroli. He gets it through to Clausen. He finds Lazzari. Lazzari pushes around, takes the strike, and a good save from Pacini again. We're peppering the ranger. It is another corner for Milan. Banks. Is this one in short? Lead away. We wheel around here, Lazzari. Tries to find the angle. Passes it back. Jao. Dior. Clausen. Can't take the shots. Fall into Dior. And there is the whistle at nil all. Oh, here's Miseroli. Here's Lombardi. Here's Kelchin in his first game. Trying to give him in a centre, centre midfield position. He's got a bit of pace, gets the cross in. Mancini! Oh, yes! The new acquisition finds the stalemate of the club. Mancini just came on for Lazzari. And Kelchin with his first touch for Milan just whips it into Mancini. And it's served up fucking El Dente, that is for sure. A class finish to give us the lead. Finally, we break it open. It's 1 0. And the magician, Mancini, has done it. There's Mancini. Slips it out the run. Oliver Freese. Oh, he's got the run here from Kelchin. Oh. Is he having a debut? Oh, that's got to be a pen. What? What? Clausen trying to pump it over the top. Mancini trying to push his way through. He's trying to tackle hard. The ball comes out the back. Mr. Rolli can't get on the end of it. They're attacking. They're trying to push forward with some momentum here. But it doesn't matter. Three from three from Milan. It's a 1-0 victory. We'll take it. And another three points in the bank. Well, 11 shots to one. We fucking came to play. Only four on target today, so a little bit rash. But Mancini came on. Kelchin in his first game, his first touch. Gets a man of the match, 8.3. Found Mancini perfectly. And uh, a 1-0 victory. Caesars take another three points.
All right, let's finish this one off with a couple of squad reports. We are in Egypt. There's two lads here to sign up. Selim El Murbarak, 53 to 69, 68 to 92 potential. And uh, Tarek Shinalda, 53 to 69, 79 to 94 potential. So we'll sign them both in to the Youth Academy. Um, El Said Abbas and El Shami, we will keep an eye on. All right, we are in Mexico. There's some definite lads to keep an eye on in Manolo Lopez and Alicio Segura. But we will be siding up, well, how am I going to pronounce this? Uh, Placido Ponce? Uh, oh, fuck knows. We'll sign him in the Youth Academy. We'll see what happens. 43 to 59, 70 to 94 potential. Looks like he could have some pace about him. All right, and we are in France. And we will be signing someone into our Youth Academy. And it is Simon Albert. Uh, 44 to 60, 77 to 94, six foot tall. I've got a feeling this might be a striker. All right, today's player upgrade will be the new right back in from Romania, Kelchan, Kelsan, Kelkan. I don't know how to pronounce his surname, but uh, if you're Romanian, do let me know. Um, he's got some very interesting boots. I'm not sure I've seen those in the catalog. Um, but yeah, if you want to change his number, his kit, Got a pretty good haircut and a nice little bit of a goatee going on there. I like a little facial hair on my players. But, uh, yep, he's ready to go. Let me know in the comments and we'll get those changes out. Right, so three from three. We've put in 24 goals, only conceded eight. Things are starting to click here for Milan. I knew it wouldn't take too long here in season three. And uh, we sit in second place on 29 points. That goal difference is propelling us up the table. For the Nate, well, unfortunately, we did lose to them, so they've got a six-point gap on us, but they have lost another game. We're just going to have to try and reel them in if we want to try and take the title this season. 15 games played. We're uh, nearly at, well, we're pretty much at the end of November, so uh, we'll head into December for the next month. We'll get that youth squad report. And uh, then the transfer window will be up on us. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed that episode. It was fucking action-packed. If you're complaining about that, Go watch something else. I don't fucking care. Uh, but I love every one of you that is watching this series, especially this long into a video. Muchly appreciated. Hit the like. Subscribe if you're new around here. We'll see you next time. I'm Spiring DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. And you, have a good one.